The West Sail 28, like many sailboats, has its engine mounted below the waterline. As a result, it is necessary to have an extra high exhaust manifold and mixing elbow. It is recommended that the exhaust manifold and mixing elbow extend at least one foot above the vessel's waterline. Star White's exhaust manifold and mixing elbow extended approximately nine inches above the waterline, and the exhaust cooling water loop line extended approximately 14 inches above the waterline. Well, while I was uh, working on uh, replacing the cutlass bearing and uh, getting the shaft and the coupling back into the boat, I noticed that there was a small amount of movement in the exhaust. And then when I looked a little bit more closely at the uh, exhaust manifold, I noticed that uh, there was some black soot coming out from uh, this installation. So, being the curious type, I started unwrapping the insulation. And that's when I found this crack. It goes uh, three quarters of the way around the uh, exhaust manifold. And uh, obviously, from the looks of this uh, insulation material, it was starting to leak. I'm real pleased, uh, not about finding the crack, but about uh, the fact that I found it before it uh, broke and uh, filled the engine room with uh, exhaust. I'm uh, going to have to take this thing apart and uh, see about getting it uh, welded back together. All right, got a bit of a game plan here. I think what I'm going to do when I take this in to have it welded is uh, have them uh, put a little, uh, I guess we'll call it a fillet in here that will uh, transfer some of the weight. It'll help support some of the weight anyway of this uh, high rise. And if we put it right in the middle between these uh, two bolts, I think we'll be fine. Still be able to get the bolts in and out of there, but uh, maybe that'll help to reinforce this uh, the seam here a bit. It's, uh, it's a bit disconcerting. We once had a uh, exhaust manifold like this uh, fail when we were uh, mid-Pacific Ocean, and I didn't find it for uh, several hours of running time, and when I did, the engine room was just covered in black soot. I do not want to ever experience that again. All right, well, uh, going to make a little modification to the uh, the plan. Uh, I think we're going to trim this little piece off because just above the exhaust manifold here is the uh, back of the heat exchanger, and there's a fitting that goes on here and some hoses. So if we taper this piece up, I think we'll have a... Uh, a better fit overall. After consulting with the folks at Beta Marine, it was suggested that I install a shorter exhaust manifold slash mixing elbow. They thought the length and weight of the longer elbow may just lead to another failure. So, after sending them a few hundred more boat dollars, I've installed a new, shorter, exhaust manifold slash mixing elbow. This new, shorter elbow is now far below the waterline and also well below the entrance to my existing water lock. You may recall me mentioning scope creep on one of my previous projects. Well, scope creep is here again. It was necessary to move the water lock forward in the engine room so that it could be mounted lower underneath the new mixing elbow. All right, this is the new exhaust version uh, three or four. So we've got an aluminum bar running across the uh, water lock is 
hose clamped and bolted to the aluminum bar and the aluminum bar is bolted to either side of the uh, engine room pan where uh, I would say about four inches above the drive shaft we're forward of the stuffing box so it's uh, fairly easy to get at for adjustments there are uh, two long quarter 20 bolts that attach the uh, water lock to the cross piece and there are two hose clamps that also go around the cross piece sort of belt and suspenders there's the exhaust line this is the uh, mixing elbow this is what uh, created all the chaos in the first place because it uh, cracked it down here so we've got the new one in now vent loop coming down silicone connector connecting the water lock to the mixing elbow so in theory this is done if it weren't raining outside I would go out and fire things up and test them but I'm gonna leave it be and wait for a drier day a little later in the week when we originally installed the new beta engine we had an extra high lift mixing elbow as a result we were well above the water line at the mixing point and it wasn't necessary to install an anti-siphon valve however that extra long mixing elbow um, it proved to be uh, faulty. I'm not sure quite why, but twice it developed cracks at the welds. It may have had to do with the length of it and the weight, I'm not sure. But uh, after this last one cracked, I elected to order another mixing elbow direct from Beta, which we've now installed, but it is significantly shorter. So, as a result, we are going to be installing an anti-siphon vent uh, on the uh, side of the engine room here to make sure that we don't have any issues. So, I'll be removing the temporarily installed hose that you see there. It actually does run above the water line. The water line is, uh, on the boat is right about here. So, we, we're technically safe, but we're close. It's uh, ideally you want to have a foot above the water line. So we'll be removing this hose and uh, routing a couple of new ones over here to the anti-siphon vent. Well, I've got the uh, the new hose is uh, roughed into position here and attached uh, to the anti-siphon valve. So our, uh, our next step now is going to be to uh, secure these hoses uh, against uh, this uh, bulkhead area here. We've got two removable doors on Star White that uh, come out via the quarter berth for side access to the engine. So we'll have to position the hoses such that uh, they don't interfere with that access. Well, getting close to uh, wrapping this up. Got the uh, two lines uh, installed and uh, secured into place up to the vent. So, uh, last thing will just be to put the uh, doors back on the side of the engine room here and uh, put away my tools. And uh, looks like I'm going to need to do a little bit of vacuuming. I've got quite a bit of uh, dust and dirt down in here while I was uh, drilling holes to secure the uh, hoses. These uh, side doors to the engine room really make working on the engine or anything in the engine room a whole lot easier. And they, uh, they just simply uh, pop in and out. They're held on with a little uh, swivel lock. But uh, they are a huge, huge improvement over trying to climb in and do everything from the front. <laughs>